Good morning, folks. By now you know the news. A huge earthquake struck Pakistan, killing hundreds of people. The lowest official numbers are in the 200s. A new island was formed about a mile off the coast, a mud volcano. The story will be ongoing, and there's a brief piece at the end of this news on the lead-up to this deadly Pakistan event from the vantage of an observer. This is the TRMM analysis of Paduk off the coast of Japan. It's barely skirting that coastline. That's the best possible outcome. New ISON photos are now coming in by the hour, not by the day. Best one I could find last 24 hours is this, with the false color and other effects. We have some official disagreement about the comet. Tony Phillips and the other experts claim this comet could rival Venus in about two months, being very visually impressive, while Bruce Gary continues to notice fading of brightness as he's guessing that coma is being pushed into the tail. While most of you are waiting for a mega flare or pretty comet show, I'm waiting for the debris tail in mid-January and have been most concerned with that for a while. Three hours of ice on discussion on the website. I haven't seen an opinion question about the comet in the last week that isn't answered there. Took a gamma ray burst from the Fornax constellation this morning. The solar wind is showing density drop with a continued rise in speed, so this should be the coronal hole stream. Didn't cause major instability even with that proton spike beating down the electrons. I'll disagree with the spaceweather.com article about a localized geomagnetic disturbance as those first particles were entering our atmosphere, because there was nothing localized about it. First blue spike down on the left matches perfectly in time, and is a global indicator, like the briefly present high-energy proton spike. GOES shows that flaring is still pathetic, but at least now the sunspots brought their game face. Big size down south? terrific mixing to the north. Each has half of an X-flare puzzle, but they'll need to work this out on their own as neither is crossing the equator. But forget about flares for a bit. Yesterday I showed a massive plasma filament turning onto the earth-facing disk, but we'll never get a chance to check her out. She leaped for the stars last night, tearing away billions of tons of plasma and creating a huge coronal mass ejection that luckily will miss Earth. The earth-facing coronal hole has lost most of its power, the backside opening even more powerful than what we saw two days ago. There's still an earthquake uptick warning, but the likelihood of a Pakistan magnitude repeat are small without any foreshock signals or increasing power returning to the earth-facing openings. Let's take a quick look at how the quake watch came to be. Good evening, folks. I intended to have you test yourself tonight, but two things merit description. The last few days, the umbral fields popped open, and then they shut closed, but the resultant opening stabilized and is now turning into face Earth. After a complete lack of power on the sun, this coronal hole is as powerful as NASA can measure on the chart. Granted, this is well off the equator, so it's not a perfect storm, but this is a very significant increase in power, and the solar wind speed emanating from it is indicative of serious magnetic force. You should see this dark arch matching the forms you've just seen. This coronal hole becomes geo-effective tomorrow and remains a quake threat as long as it is earth-facing and the power remains strong. The next coronal hole is on the earth-facing disk and it is powerful. Last night I showed that it's the most powerful magnetic point on our star. It has faded slightly this morning but still the strongest on the sun facing Earth today and tomorrow, and even with it well north of the equator, Earth hasn't taken a large quake in a few days and have been well below average for longer. I expect a change within 48 hours and a sharp but brief uptick. Mud Volcano this is an ongoing story, folks, that will require many updates. Either way, the watch is waning now. We do indeed still have more plasma filaments posing eruption threat. These are more Earth-facing. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.